customer wanted us to go ahead and uh, make a video for his Mazda V-Belt style alternator. Um, a lot of people get a lot of uh, confusing information with regards to what the max output is on a V-Belt. Um, I've seen some people quote 400 amp, 350 amp. That's not realistic on a V-Belt due to the belt slip, the belt pipe, uh, you know, the belt getting hot. The one thing that we want to go ahead and show you guys is what the peak is where you know you just don't start hearing that belt ripping and slipping so here we got a 14.8 31 pulley ratio rotor speed we're going to go ahead and take this up a notch get it up to cruising again v belt Going ahead and put the load on it. Like I said, what we don't want to do is have you guys hearing that belt ripping, burning, shredding, squealing because you don't have you know the proper load. Here we're showing you 300 amp. with no stretching or anything like that, no squealing, 280, still got that good voltage on there. Again, 300 amps is the peak that we would recommend that we won't go beyond. Most of the guys, when you guys are cruising, you guys will be in this world here, you know, 140 amp draw, 14.6. Again, V belt setup. Again, picking it back up a notch. Not getting that belt squeal. realistic for a V-Belt. Anything bigger than a 300 amp, folks, number one, it's not happening. Number two, you're going to end up setting your belt. Thank you.